we're going to do a tiki drink because why not? It's liquid escapement, and we're in early November. It's 8.30, and it's pitch black out. So let's, uh, let's enjoy a little tropical vibe here with a very unusual drink called the Pearl Diver. And why is it unusual? It's because of this one in ingredient here. It's called Gardenia Mix. It looks pretty funky because this is melted butter with honey, a few flavored syrups, and allspice dram. Those two flavored syrups are vanilla and cinnamon, so this is going to be a very interesting flavor to put in this cocktail. Also, it has a really cool glass co called the Pearl Diver glass that we'll be drinking this beverage in. And, uh, yeah, I think it's time to make a Pearl Diver. Start off with some juices. Naturally, every tiki drink has juice. And we need three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, which I've pre-squeezed. Slide that off there. Uh, one ounce of orange juice, also something I've pre-juiced. Got a little bit of different music instead of what I usually go with, just to try to change up the vibe. Uh, calls for three quarters of an ounce of the Gardenia mix. Let's see how this stuff will uh, pour. It's a very thick stuff. It looks to want to come. Oh yeah, that's, uh, that's some good stuff right there. Chunky butter. Even though uh, that sounds weird, but uh, there is a drink that I definitely want to do real soon called the uh, hot buttered rum. So this, in a way, is a tropical version of a cold buttered rum. There, now we got it going. Here we are. Oh, yeah. That's some good stuff right there. Ugh. Be much clean up after uh, after I make this drink here. Oh, that tastes wonderful. Ugh. All right, we got all the stuff. Time for the alcohol beverages. We'll add some velvet flarinum, which is an interesting tiki drink that I've, or tiki uh, mixture right here that I've used in. Uh, previous few drinks way back uh, when I did some other tiki stuff. Guardian eggs, velvet flare, two bar spoons. Okay, that's easy. This is uh, John D. Taylor velvet flare. I've noticed it in a few liquor stores, so hopefully, uh, if you want to make this stuff, you could find the uh, this ingredient. Or your liquor store can uh, special order. I've had uh, special orders brought in from a few liquor stores here. Now we need some rums. A uh, Puerto Rican rum. I have Bacardi Gold written on there. I got one step better, Bacardi 8 years, so we'll get, have a little age to that. Bacardi Gold, an ounce and a half. There is a half an ounce of Jamaican rum. I'm using the 12-year uh, Appleton Estate, so we're getting some good age. To this. Don, the beachcomber who created this drink, definitely like to mix in the various rums. It's like a little science project here. And finally, I also have here three quarters of an ounce of Demerara rum. Uh, Demerara is a specific type of rum from uh, Guana, the, or Gina, and uh, this is an 86 proof uh, by Hamilton Estate. They have various different rums, and this is what I was able to find. They, they have a 151, which is 
75.5% uh, alcohol. That it's got a lot of fire to it. Ooh, the Demerara rums are so uh, so interesting to smell. There. Three quarters of an ounce. Now that we got our uh, mix all put together, it's time for the ice. Doing two ice cubes. Got that on there. And lots of shaking here. Now for the pour. I'm going to kill the music. Thought it'd be di nice to uh, try something different, but it does. I'm not really vibing off of that. I'll open the gate a little bit. That way, I can get a little bit of some of the smaller ice chunks in the drink. There we go. And if you so choose to garnish this drink. It calls for, uh, what did I write down for my notes? Uh, pineapple fronds, which are the uh, little, big, actually big leaves off the, of the top, and also uh, an orchid. But uh, yeah, let's see what uh, a pearl diver is all about here. Ooh. I definitely get the honey vibe going on here, which is really really cool. This is a cool drink. Mm. I'm getting all that rum flavor. That's what's cool about some of these tiki drinks is that it uses a variety of rums so you're getting such different flavor vibe going on here. As well as <laughs> like I said I'm drinking butter which is pretty pretty cool. That is a very unique drink. Like I said, when can you have a tiki drink? Whenever. Why not? Um, it helps kind of uh, change the mood. And uh, like I said, there, with a lot of these tiki drinks, there's always different unique ingredients. It's a little bit of work, but you get a great result like this. I could uh, finish this right on camera, but uh, don't want to keep you guys holding there.